Hey there guys and welcome back to Poke Idol Festival, a sacred gold idol lock. Today, as I said last time, we are heading up into the Burned Tower. See if we can do a couple things in there, including seeing a couple interesting Pokemon. You can see them kind of down there, bouncing around, having a good time. Good old party time. Um, and ooh, we are also going to look for encounters. That should be exciting. No, maybe not. <laughs> I'm not... I'm not opposed to the Grimer line, they're pretty solid, but I don't need another poison type. Well, alright, well fine then. Let's just go for it then. We will accept you into our happy family, regardless. And hope that, uh... <laughs> wow, that was actually a strong sludge. Um, and hope that you don't kill us like that Viper did. Uh, actually... I feel like, who's got the strongest defenses in Sharp Notes right now? So you've got 31-32. 38, 34, 54-57. So we should probably switch out for Miku, just to make sure that we don't uh, do the death thing to a wild Pokemon twice in a row. Oh, and we got some minimize action going on here. Although now that we've switched into Miku, I'm, I'm worrying that <laughs> she's gonna be too strong and knock it out. Um, I guess let's try... We're not too far uh, away from half, so let's see what a Pokeball will do, maybe, at this health. And I guess that was enough. Gotcha! Grimer was caught. Uh, again, not the most photogenic stage ready Pokemon, but you never know. Yeah, you can be surprised. So let's see, what do we call a Grimer? Who's maybe some someone with a performer with a lot of charm, but not a conventional sense of attractiveness. Okay, uh, I think I'm going to pick a name submitted by my good friend Tortimer the Grey, whose channel you should definitely check out if you are into uh, into Pokemon or the Minecrafts, especially the Minecrafts. He's got a great series on uh, Minecraft Jurassic Park, among other things, going on right now. Not, no wait, not Jurassic Park, Jurassic World. Either way, uh, he submitted the name Tierna after... Uh, after Tierno from Pokemon X and Y, who's who's just a dancing freak, but also a little on the overweight side, not conventionally attractive at all, really. But gosh darn, has such enthusiasm. Um, so Tierna would be the fe the female version of that name. So I think that's pretty appropriate. She's definitely going to be enthusiastic if we ever get to use her. Alrighty. So I guess let's uh, he head out real quick. And then go have a look at her and play for her. Alright, so Tierna's just chilling in the green room. Let's see what she's like. She's a timid nature. Interesting. Thoroughly cunning. She's got sticky hold as an ability. I like that. Or at least I I, gen I generally like it in competitive. Uh, I don't know how useful it is in, uh, in just in-game, but <laughs> I still kind of like it. Not a great nature, honestly. Grimer and Muck are not known for their speed, <laughs> but I think we can we can make it work. Um, all right. Oh, and already got Mud Bomb, a Sludge. Okay, okay, that's cool. So let's see if we can keep Tierna. Alrighty, so we are going to play No Brand Girls. Awesome. And we shall see how this goes. I think I've said that a couple times already. I probably shouldn't repeat myself. Can I just say that No Brand Girls is one of my favorite Love Live songs, by the way. I've played it a bunch of times and it's one of the only songs I'm not sick of playing yet. And I seem to be pretty good at it too, considering I don't play the normal version that often. Oh no! That's speak of the devil. I always say things like that right before I get a good. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Alrighty. <laughs> Please go for an A combo. I think we might not have gotten high enough for it. Let's see. Either way, I won't be heartbroken if we lose a Grimer, I guess. Okay, we got the A combo. That's good. Alrighty. Well, oh, we got Max Bond on that Akira. I am actually trying to Max Bond multiple copies of this, uh, in the center there, this Akira Kizaki card. Because I want to be one of those people who has, like, insane amounts of Bond on a card on their profile. It's gonna take a lot, considering a normal card doesn't, uh, doesn't get that high naturally very fast. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Alrighty. Okay, so we got the A combo. That means if we roll a 1, 2, a 3 on our random number generator, we get to keep Tierna. If we roll a 4, then we lose her. So let's see what we get. 3! Alright! Perfect! Alright. So again, we didn't really need another poison type, but it's always good to have backup. So let's move her safely into the waiting list. There we go. So again, like Yuri, if anything bad should happen, God forbid, she is there waiting to, uh, waiting to fill in the hole <laughs> with her, her globby purple mass of enthusiasm. That sounded weird. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think. I've been, in between episodes, I've been like poring over who I should take to the rival battle because I just took out the misfits and they would definitely be a good, sh uh, a good shot against the team that our rival has. Sharp notes I'm less confident about for that. Like, Miku could obviously wreck some of them, but not all of them. Um, Cherry Leaf I'd like to do in a in a battle because I want to try out Yuri. Um, also, she's got Shockwave, and I think uh, our rival's going to lead with a Murkrow, so that could be interesting. Uh, I don't know, though. They've also got level 29 Katori, so I don't know. <laughs> I think I'll go with the Misfits. I think that's what my gut is telling me, so I think might as well move these things around. There we go. So, should be good to lead with Ariel in that case. Lead Ice against Flying. Alrighty. And do we need to switch some items around? I feel like Ariel had the King's Rock before. Who's got that now? I think it's Samethyst, I want to say? Yeah. Uh, what else we got? Shell Bell. I don't know, or maybe we'll just leave the items as they are, so we don't have to, like, futz with them too much. Uh, I least No, Joey, go away. Um, I think we are good to just head in at this point, I think. We were good and stocked up on, uh, lemonades. Should be okay. So let's see what our, uh, what things have in store for us in here. The name is Yulcine, and I'm in the trail of a Suicune, and I am also inexplicably French for some reason. I'm like the second French person in this town after Fantina. I don't know why I like doing French accents so much. Um, Morty, you're probably not French. <laughs> My name is Morty. I'm Ecritique's gym leader. I'm the old friend of Suicune, and Yulcine and somebody in Ecritique has Suicune dead Jay Raiko, and that's a thing. Aren't you, aren't you proud of me? My, my excellent... Reading skills continue <laughs> to be a thing. Aren't you glad that you're watching me let's play this and not someone who's more professional? Oh, we could have gotten a Q-Bone! Oh, I would have liked that. That's okay, Tierna, we like you too, but still, Q-Bones are cool. Okay, well, anyways, let's try not to be too disheartened as we go into this this standoff, this battle of the of the idle bands with our... our with our sworn enemy in show business, Riot and his doofy red hair. Let's do this. Do this with Doofus. Challenged by rival Riot. So yes, he does lead with a Murkrow. I don't know much about the move sets. The uh, I'm checking like various playthroughs for these move sets, and it seems like most of the people who fight this battle don't have much trouble. So I didn't see many of the moves. Hopefully that bodes well for me. So let's see. What our ice beam will do? Oh, maybe I should have, I should have done some spikes action while we could. Ooh, nightshade. It's not friendly. Well, at least we one hit KO'd the Murkrow, so that's good. Don't get too cocky though. Okay, level twenty nine. Alrighty, that's good. Kadabra. Hmm. I think Pizzazz would be okay for that. 
You are part poison and don't have the greatest special defense though, but you do have good moves. Are you fast? 49 speed, not great. Uh, what about Freddy? Freddy's pretty solid all around. Not the fastest either. Also not the greatest special defense. Uh, Ariel might be better to stay in, maybe, actually. Mm. Nobody ha on this team has great special defense. Maybe I didn't think this through very much. Uh, well, let's see what Pizzazz can do. Or, ah, uh, that's, that's... Psychic move could be devastating, though, if it hits. Mm. Mm. I think maybe let's go for Freddy. Let's go for Freddy. So we can get, like, a baseline about how powerful this Kadabra might be if it hits us. Um, oh, we could yawn it. Although, I don't know if I want to last... Oh. Uh, at least two turns with this thing. We could avoid an attack by digging. I think I like that idea. Ooh, Miracle Eye. Does that mean it can hit us even if we dig? I don't know. This will be an interesting experiment. Psybeam. Okay, good. No, it, do it can't hit us if we're underground, even if it's Miracle Eye. That is good to know. Yeah! Good job, Freddy. I knew, I knew it was a good thing to trust you. You are always super solid presence on the stage. Horsey! Okay, okay, okay. I think we got someone who has a little grass move up their sleeve. Could could definitely take on a horsey. It's also good that uh, that Riot still has a Pokemon Pizzazz's size <laughs> that she can actually take on. So let's see how much a cut will do. Oh, not even half. That's not encouraging, but that's okay. I think it's still okay. I wonder if a, p if a pin missile would actually do more, assuming it uh, it hits multiple times. I don't... Mm, I don't know. I think let's just go for cut and go for like the more surefire move. Ooh, it's raring up for a crit there. Oh, <laughs> good, we got the crit of our own, so it didn't even matter. Good job, Possess, you knew, you knew we needed that crit. That's good to, to know that you're on the ball. Quilava, I think we have the, the two... We have our choice of Pokemon who could take on you. <laughs> Just saying how solid Freddy was, let's prove it again. Doo -doo. Uh, Surf, let's see how much this, this new Surf and Turf move will do. There we go. So... Oh, it doesn't knock you out. Okay, well that's fine then. You, all you did was defense curl, so it's not like you did anything useful. And you decided to do it again. All right. If you want to be like that, it's not going to stop the onslaught. The onslaught of our wave of awesome dancing. That's, that's, I don't know. I feel kind of like I'm forcing these, these idle and dance metaphors while I talk sometimes. <laughs> How do you guys feel about that? Do, does it feel like I'm kind of tacking on the theme of the, of the lock when I say things like that? Or does, or do you actually like it? <laughs> Uh, we're going into Haunter. I think Pizzazz is probably good. She's got Thief. Probably okay to handle this. Assuming he doesn't have anything killer. Hopefully not Destiny Bond or something like that. Uh, I know it has Sucker Punch. Um, what was the other thing I, I know that it has? Confuse Ray. Right. Well, let's hope that uh, Thief will do some good for us then. And hope that we don't hit ourselves in confusion. And if we if it becomes a problem for Pizzazz, we could always switch out, I guess. Mm, that did okay. Mm, do we wanna switch for somebody? I think if it's gonna like sucker punch maybe, then that might be a free switch for us then. We could just switch back into Freddy in that case. I don't know, though. They're, these guys are both at level 29, though. That feels, like, kind of cheap against a level 25. I know somebody was saying that, uh, that we, we still feel slightly overleveled in some battles. So let's just see if Pizzazz can stick it out, then. And we'll only switch if she looks like she's really in danger. Ominous Wind. Okay, how much is it gonna do? Oof. Oof, that does a lot, actually. Okay, yeah, no, that's, um... That's not good. Um... Yeah, we might have to switch in that case. Let's let's go for it. Freddy, get on up! 
Get on up! This is your fight, Freddy! You go! You go! Withstand that ominous wind! Okay, good. It doesn't even do half. That is that is fine by me. I think this thing levitates, so dig and mud bomb are no good. Let's just surf then. Got the sucker punch, okay. Doesn't do that much. Good. Oh, so close. So close. Are you gonna use a potion? I feel like I should use a potion in case we get like a crit ominous wind or something, so let's do that. Okay. Okay, so ominous wind is coming again. Ooh! Got an, uh, oh, that's an across the board sp Oh no. Ooh, please don't do anything super devastating. Come on, Freddy! Okay, confuse right. Don't hit yourself. Don't hit yourself. This is the last, the last move. You're gonna make it clutch. No. Oh, oh, you fumbled. Oh no. 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 Okay. Um. Oh no. Oh. Uh, hang on a sec. Uh, thirty-eight. No, it's still not great for special defense. Freddy's still our best special defense. Eh. All right. So, uh, I guess let's heal again? No, uh, it's just gonna be do uh. That ominous wind is probably in range where it can knock out at this point, but yeah, we should probably heal. It's not good. Uh, how much PP does ominous wind have, too? Ow! Oh, and that's not even a crit! Oh no! Oh no no no! Why did I let it get this bad? Uh. Mm. Hang on a sec. I gotta look up Ominous Wind. Oh, it's only a 5 PP move! That's good! That means we can potion stall it. I know that's not everybody's favorite strategy. I know, you've made this very clear to me. But it's within the parameters of the rules of the game. If this was competitive, it would be different. But... Friggin' no! If it's within the rules of the game, I am allowed to use that tactic. Uh, there we go. Do what I can to keep my team alive. Shadow Punch. Okay, that probably means it's out now. <gasps> Ooh, that was another crit though. Okay, good. Okay, good. Um, so let's heal one more time. And hope it doesn't crit again. And then hopefully we can actually... Hopefully then we can actually do this. Okay, Sucker Punch. Okay. Hopefully it sucker punches again. It sucker punch isn't as strong. Come on. Okay, don't hit yourself. Oh, come on. Come on. Let's take the risk. Come on, Freddy. Stop tripping over yourself. This is not a professional. This is not a professional way to act during a performance. Stop being bamboozled. By the talent of your opponents! Come on, stop being confused! Okay, good! Thank you! We just needed like one more surf, that was it. You really drew that out. Oh, well, at least you did well enough in the rest of the. in the rest of the performance to be like, man, even if you had a little slip up, it was still pretty. But that was still pretty cool. Still pretty. Impressive, don't you think? <laughs> okay. Thank you. Now do I get my reward? Do I get to look at some legendary doggies? I uh, know I have to fight a Pokemon before I go downstairs, apparently. Uh, let's get out of here, then. I don't think we have to fight them, right? They, they just, ho like, hop away? So let's go down. Say hi! Say hi! You wanna hang? You wanna chill? No? Rude. Oh, you were slightly interested. Maybe you maybe you want to hang with us in future, maybe. It's bad with the blur. I just for my eyes. I've been chasing Suicune for almost ten years. I am all choked up. <laughs> oh, by the way, it's clear to me that Suicune took notice of your presence. You could use legendary Pokemon and talents and have Suicunes and synergy. We'll meet again. Goodbye. <laughs> Great. Um... Oh, we should probably use the dowsing machine down here. Let's get that set up. Register in slot one. Register in slot two. 
There we go. So now we can use the Y button and douse and douse and douse. There we go. How do we how do we douse? Does the, is it automatic? I don't have to press a button, do I? Okay, so we can't go through to the other side. There's boulders in the way. Alright, that's fine. I know there's stuff upstairs at least, so let's go that way. Uh, oh, there's a flame guy. We should probably heal before we fight things then. Okay, so you guys actually... Well, we probably... I don't know. Let's just switch back to Sharp Nose so we don't have to waste too many potions then in that case. Let's put Conchita up front. Hopefully she'll be good against Fire Dude. And we can Potion, Amethyst. There we go. Okay. Should be good now. Okay. Let's see if I'm right about you, Conchita. Fire Breather Ned! Sent out coughing! The one Pokemon I was not expecting. Why do fire breathers use poison types? Great. Um, let's use water gun, I guess. It's not super specially defensive. It still doesn't do that much. All right, well, fine then. At least we didn't get poisoned. Uh, let's see how much rock tomb does. It does more at least, that's good. And speed fell. Assurance. At least it's not doing much damage. That's good. There we go, perfect. Good job, Conchita. Nummel. I got a nummel out here. Uh, I think Conchita's good to stay in. Let me just make sh- uh, Rocks, ground, oh wait, ground. Ground rock. Gr ground- Ground is not kind to rock. Maybe let's switch then. <laughs> uh, let's send an amethyst then, how about? Hopefully it's a male and then we can take advantage of a tract. That is the case. Perfect. Let's do that. And then let's charm its, charm its metaphorical pants off because it doesn't wear actual pants. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. Because <laughs> that takedown was not, not happy. So much charm, so much attract, Amethyst. You just, you just use your idol-esque charm on it. Make sure it buys all your merchandise. No, let's not potion. I think we're fine. Um, head to butt. Oh, and it flinched. It doesn't want to hurt Amethyst anymore. It doesn't want to hurt its kitty waifu. <laughs> oh, take advantage of that, of that uh, otaku fanboy normal. <laughs> And Quilava! Um, should we switch back to Conchita? Amethyst seems to be doing quite well, honestly. But let's... Uh, yeah, let's see if she can keep keep up the attract and charm strategy, maybe. Although she might not need charm as much. Uh, let's see, it would have flame wheel, I guess. So yeah, maybe a charm would be worth it. Just in case. In love with Amethyst? Okay, Ember, so you are not having this, uh, this idle crap. You don't want to be brought into idle hell. You're already burning with the flames of the hellishness on your back. You did not need this extra moe crap on top of everything. Oh, but you just can't help yourself. The allure, the allure of the, of the pure and innocent kitty is too strong, too strong for you. Is sounding more and more wrong the more I say about it, <laughs> but that's okay. I I really I feel like this is sort of more like serious channel talk, but I feel like in the future one of the video essays I want to do is like a for serious essay about idol culture in Japan and where Love Live fits into that. That might be one or two video essays possibly. If you'd be interested in seeing something like that, let me know in the comments, cause. Uh, I'm thinking about it, and I, I haven't done a video essay in a while. Uh, Director Quest is, um, for those of you who are still interested in Director Quest, uh, is kind of in limbo, <laughs> and I'm not sure what to do with it, because I'm, I don't know. But if I do want to do another video essay, it might be good to uh, combine it with the, uh, the now Love Live-centric nature of this channel. So, uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, let's do one more fire breather battle, I guess. Uh, let's uh, call it an episode, I, I guess. 
Heal up. Heal up, heal up, everybody drink your lemonade. Oh, Magby! Oh, he overall will Magby to the fight. Oh, I don't think he's gonna be happy about, uh, about the dig that is coming its way. Burrowed under the ground. I hope it actually hits. There we go. I always seem- I feel like I have really bad luck with, uh, being smokescreened, so I'm glad when I actually hit. <laughs> In which case, we should probably switch, especially if you're gonna use Slowpoke, a water type. A water type being used by a fire breather, because that makes sense. <laughs> well, at least that's something for Miku to fight. That's- that's good. It's aerial ace. Hmm. Did less than I thought. Slowpoke, you are a giant blob of defense, apparently. Uh, actually, let's... We could probably keep Miku out for whatever's after this, too, so let's sub and swords. There we go. Oh, good. Well, that's fine. I didn't want to use Swords Dance anymore after that anyway, so let's just aerial ace, and then we should hopefully be able to take out whatever's after this, too. I do love my sub and sword strategy. Ooh, Charmeleon. Okay. Um, so let's hope that uh, the Miku can take it out in one hit then. Should be safe with the sub setup. Even even if it breaks the sub and we don't hit it, kill it in one hit, we should be fast enough that we take it out in two hits before taking any damage. Because Miku is just on top of things like that. Perfect! Didn't even have to worry about that because she is so clutch, so shell bell. And man. Push poofoom poofoom poofoom. Alrighty. Alright, let's find the last item in here and then I think we will call that a day. And and in between episodes we shall prep up, get ready to face Morty of Acritique City. Oh boy!